Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because in this video, I'm actually redoing this gallery wall behind me to mount my TV so it can become part of the gallery itself. Stick around and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing when it comes to putting a gallery wall together, mounting the TV, and just like reorganizing all my pictures on the wall. All right, this is probably it. Hey, well, hey, friends. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Hey, friends. Well, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry. Take this is like 20 takes already. <laughs> hey, friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is like the 30th time of me recording this intro because I have my puppies, like my boyfriend's puppy is here in the house with me and she's just wanting to play. <laughs> And she keeps bumping on my microphone and knocking down my camera. So with that, like I told you guys in the intro, I'm redoing my gallery wall. So I'm going to be taking down this whole thing behind me and I'm going to actually mount a TV on the wall and just make it part of the gallery wall because I want to get rid of this entertainment center. I don't like it anymore. It doesn't go with my style. So I just want to sell it and actually not have an entertainment center at all. I think I'm just going to put a floating shelf on the wall and then get a couch at some point and not have the couch compete with this because I do have a small space even though it's a long space it's very narrow so I don't want all these boxy things in my apartment in my opinion like it just it just doesn't look good it makes me feel cluttered and I hate it I'm just gonna play with my pictures and show you guys how I put it together and possibly I'll probably give you guys a little history on my pictures because all my gallery wall pictures most of them at least 90% of them have a history behind them, which is why I love a gallery wall because to me it's very personal. It showcases what I like in art and the things that I've collected on my trips and the different memories that I have with every piece. So with that, let's just jump into this video. Mwah! I moved everything out of the way so I would have a clean space to work with and have room to move around and also I wiped the walls to get rid of all the dust that was left behind from the pictures just because walls do get dirty and you can see baby Ariel laying on the floor and she is the cutest! I used 3 inch screws just to mount the bracket on the wall and I did drill some pilot holes just so the screws would go straight into the studs because I wanted it to be secured and it was easier for the screws to go in. With that you guys it took me less than 20 minutes to put it all together and this wall mount was so user friendly, totally affordable, less than $35, it is linked in my description box. First of all, I love The Simpsons, such an iconic show. But going back to the gallery wall, when I'm putting a gallery wall together, I like to start with an anchor piece. I'll usually start with one of the biggest pieces and then I'll work my way out from there. I'll do groups of three, or at least in my brain, I think they are groups of three because it looks more visually appealing. And then I also like to work with the three S's, shape, size, and space. I don't want two similar pieces that are similar in shape to be too close to each other. I don't like two similar pieces that are too close in size to be close to each other. And I always watch the space that I leave in between my pieces so that way it creates more of a visual interest. To create more of a visual impact on the wall, I asked over on Instagram which color I should spray paint this rhino head and you all chose neon pink. Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna give you a little tour of my gallery wall because 90% of the things I have on this wall have meaning behind them, which is why one of the reasons why I love to do a gallery wall like I told you guys in the beginning is because I usually use them to display the things that I like in art and all the things that 
means something to me. And it's like a way to spice up a room with just things that you have laying around the house and it's really pretty to add color. So I'm gonna start on this side and then I'm just gonna move my way around. But let's start with this first piece, which I picked up a couple of years ago. This is what I call vintage Ikea because it is so old. It's probably like 10 years old, but I love this piece. Like, I love how it's so whimsical, it's so different. It's very like, I don't know, like it's, it's like a millennial, kind of like hipster moves on a bike. I, I love the color, so it's really cute. The next piece I have is this one over here, which if you guys can see, I'm gonna get a little closer, but it says, for the guy who stands out in the crowd. And I picked up this piece when I went to New York a couple of years ago at Chelsea Market, and I just loved it. Like, it's so me, the fashion part of it, the colors, it's just so pretty. Then I have another piece over here, and this piece right here is a little uh, Jeep Grand Wagoneer, and that's like my dream car. I love that car so much. Like, I literally just wanna have that car. It's like my dream car forever, so at some point I'm gonna buy it, but that's like a Jeep Grand Wagoneer that I have there. Then David, my partner, he picked up this little abstract piece that this lady painted on a shell, we went to this art festival in South Carolina last year and I told him that I needed a piece for my wall and he picked that one up so I hung it on the wall so that way I also have a little representation of something that he picked out as well. Then I have another piece that I picked out in New York and it's kind of like the same shop that I got that one at but this one's a little Boston Terrier and it's the cutest thing because it's the Boston that's like wearing all these accessories and stuff and the colors and it's just a tribute to Maximo who lives in Florida with my mom, but it's like my very first baby ever. So he's on the wall as well. These two pieces, this one, the color over here, and this one, the colors over here, I picked up in Key West when David and I went on our first cruise. We actually got to meet the artist. He was so cool. He signed them, he's from Haiti, and he just made these pieces in front of us and they were so pretty. So these two pieces right here. I love the colors as well. Then this one over here is one piece. Let me go ahead and move this way. So as you can see, it's another piece that I picked out when I went to New York last year. This is from 2019. I went to New York. I love New York, as you can tell. This is when I went for World Pride, which happened to be in New York in 2019. Every year is a different country and last year it happened to be in New York. So I just picked up this piece from an artist and it was so pretty. I just thought it represented New York so much. Like you can see the rainbow, the colors, it's just beautiful. So you have the fireworks on the top from New Year's, Times Square, the taxi cabs, like everything. Like it's just amazing. This other New York City piece, which I absolutely love. I love the colors of this piece. Again, I picked it up in New York a couple of years ago when David and I went for the first time. It's the same artist that made the Boston Terrier, and the little guy in the suit over there. Beautiful shop. I will tag them in my description. And they also have an amazing Instagram page. I have some random pieces, like this one over here is just a little piece that I have from Ikea. And this one, I had it from my previous apartment. Not all has to be the same thing. Not all has to be like something that you've collected. It can be like a random piece. And I thought that this would add some extra color and texture to the wall. And again, not everything has to be a picture. One of my favorite pieces, this one right here, this little heart right here. This heart I got when David and I went to New York for the first time. I remember I went and I flew in, he was working, went to the hotel and he had left me a little card with some chocolates and he's like welcome to new york blah 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 all that stuff it's the cutest thing and that was the card so it's like i have to frame it so it's been framed and part of my gallery wall ever since i added in a clock from ikea just because i wanted to have a clock it's nice to be able to tell time and then the other pair of the little cactus plant that i have over there which i love the colors it's a great way of pop of color to add color to your wall and again like it ties in with my plants over here which I love. So that was pretty much a little tour of my gallery wall. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments because I would love to answer questions. If you have questions about putting a gallery wall together, let me know because I absolutely love, love, love doing this. And let's resume with this video. And here's the finalized wall.
Okay, my friends, thank you so, so much for sticking around and watching this whole video. Let me know if you like this idea of putting a gallery wall together and then incorporating the TV as part of your gallery wall. I think it saves so much space, especially if you are a renter and if you have limited space. I think the mountain TV on the wall is like the way to go. So let me know what you guys think about it. Also, you wanna be subscribed, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below because I have an amazing DIY coming that's gonna be right in this section. You guys don't wanna miss that and it's gonna be perfect for the holidays. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and I can know what to show you guys. Again, love you all. Please take care of yourself, take care of those around you and don't forget, the journey is what brings us happiness, not the destination. See you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.